you know, I'm normally a pretty aggressive homer when it comes to covering the Hawks and especially covering the Nets, but I got to be honest with y'all niggas, um, the Jazz are really, really fucking good, and I'm not, I'm not the type to sit here and really praise another team like that, but Utah's a good fucking team, you know, they're, they're, they, they got that 10-3 and three record for a reason, they're over there doing something, I mean, you know, them, them, the niggas up to something. I mean, if we're if we're gonna quote uh, Drake and collab albums, them 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 niggas up to something over there. Clearly, um, I didn't really take them that seriously going into the game. I mean, I saw their record, but it's like, who the fuck are they? Uh, you, you know, they've got Mike Conley and they've got uh, Colin Sexton coming off the bench and Laurie Marketing. You know, they kind of seem like oh, and and like and like Clarkson or some shit like that. They're like the island of misfit toys. Like all these niggas that like couldn't make it on other teams just wound up in Utah with all the trades and such. Like you got the Rudy Gobert trade, you've got the Donovan Mitchell trade, and 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 they're just a collection of draft picks and random veterans that were shelled for these uh, for these two top stars. And then you got Mike Conley still there, and it's like I I didn't take them very seriously going into the game, but they sure fucking showed me. It, it, it was a back and forth game. So if anything, I think it should make us feel good. Not that I believe in moral victories or moral losses, but I I think we should be happy about how it is that we stacked up against them because them motherfuckers is no joke. And Laurie Marketed does not miss. I mean, the motherfucker just kept shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting, and the nigga didn't miss. Mike Conley, while he didn't do much offensively, was really doing a good job of running the team, and they were playing some type of system that I couldn't figure out to to, to save my life, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't know what the fuck system they were running, but it was definitely more upgraded than our pick and roll. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> because that's all we fucking do. That's all we do. Nate just says, run the pick and roll. And we're like, okay, let's run the pick and roll and see what fucking happens. Or pass to an open shooter off some driving kick type shit. So it's very, very basic basketball. We're not really cracking the Da Vinci code out there. But, um, the Jazz have some type of system that they're working with, with the exit of Quinn Snyder and shit like that. And... They fucked us up, you know? It wasn't a blowout. It was pretty close, but we weren't able to stop them. The offense was fine. It's not like niggas weren't hitting their shots. Jante Murray was hitting a shot. Trey Young, towards the end of the game, started going the fuck off. Um, DeAndre Hunter had, like, what? Like, what, 19 in the fourth quarter or some shit like that? Like, he ended up in the 20s, so shout out to... To him, uh, John Collins played all right. He was really having having a field day trying to stop marketing, honestly, at the four. But that's not a hit of there. It was. It wasn't the type of game where you walk away with your head down. Basically, like we 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 lost, but it was to a really fucking good team. And this might sound like the ultimate cop-out, but they're in the Western Conference, and we only have to think about them twice a year. So when we lose to Western Conference teams, unless they're ass, like it's the Kings or some shit like that, and it's Red Velvet's Revenge or some shit like that, um, I just check it off as was it competitive, yay or nay. And if it's a yay, then I'm like, okay, cool, and we walk away from the shit. We just beat the Milwaukee Bucks. That's the type of shit that we need to be prepping for. Not whatever the fuck is going on in Utah. They're not going to make it out the West, so we don't ever have to worry about them really. So if they caught us slipping one night, it is what it is. I feel like the main focus is us preparing for our next game. The main focus is getting ready for the 76ers because that is something that is in our conference that we need to be aware of. Does that make sense? So it, 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 it sounds like a cop-out because I'm saying it's okay that we lost and I normally never say things like that, but it's okay that we lost. We just beat Milwaukee. And that's someone that is in our conference who we're going to have to see in the playoffs at some point. So I think that's more of a, that's something to focus on and carry into our next game rather than just some random ass game against fucking Utah, which again, show me Utah on a map and I'll be scared, but that's not a hint of there. But we probably won't ever have to worry about them again. We, we play them one more time this year in Utah which I'll have my um, 
what was her name? I'll, 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 I'll have my Carmen San Diego hat on to try and figure out where the fuck they went. But yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about a random ass NPC Western Conference team like that. Like, yeah, they beat us. Clappy, clappy, clap. Shout out to you and your record and shit like that. But I think we'll be fine. I'm not, I'm not concerned. It's not like we got blown out. It's not like they whipped our ass or nothing like that. I mean, they just won a game. So congrats on them for having a good night. And that's all that shit was. You had a good night, you know? I don't think it'll translate to anything. The niggas ain't making it out the West. You know, you'll probably make the playoffs, but you'll probably get slapped around in the first round by someone. But that is neither here nor there. I think the situation will handle itself, and there's nothing to be worried about. We will be just fine. But by all means, if you want to go in-depth in the comments of what you think Nate McMillan did wrong, or just some introspective-ass view of the game, leave it down below. I just enjoyed the commentary of Dominique, Vince Carter, and Bob. Is it Rob or Bob? I don't know. One of the two. The, 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 the Melanin Challenged Man with the with the hair the hair uh taking shots at Mike Conley they were they were they were basically accusing Mike Conley of having Beijing in his beard which again I find really ironic because Mr. Rav is 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 Ravapore whatever that 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 melon challenged man's name is when I see his hair, I, I I think the exact same thing. Like, there is no gray in that man's hair. What's like the Just For Men shelf is barren, and it's because of him. Now, that's no shot at homie. It's just, I just, I just thought that was so interesting that he was taking his time assassinating the character of Mike Conley for, 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 for putting color in his beard. Yet that man has a head of hair that is jet black and I just I just know oh I just know just for men is really really working that sponsorship over there but that's not a hit in there but see see it's it, it's shit like that that I was viewing that I thought was entertaining and 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 kept me in high spirits during the game even though we lost and we were up by like maybe four or five like a good bit of the fourth quarter and a little bit of the third. So it's not like we were just getting assassinated. Like we, we, we played well. We just couldn't finish the game out. And I think they're allowed to be human. I think they're allowed to be caught off guard because I think we all are. I think everyone that plays the Utah Jazz is getting caught off guard. But that's not here or there. I'm just here to tell you that it ain't no joke. Them niggas is for real over there. But they are over there. And that shit ain't got nothing to do with us. So I'll let's shift our focus to the 76ers. Them niggas ain't got Harden. Which, let me show y'all. Let, let me show y'all. Hold up. I do have the Harden jersey now. Oh, hold, 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 hold. I do have the Harden jersey. Anytime I anytime I bust that out on Nets Republic, niggas go insane. It's like motherfuckers hate James Harden so goddamn much, especially Nets fans. Hate that motherfucker so goddamn much. It is it's hilarious. It's 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 funny to me. I fucks with James Harden, but um yeah, he's not gonna play tonight, or excuse me, tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Or is it tonight? It's tonight. He's not gonna play tonight, so I mean, it's just Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey and basically everyone else. With James Harden not being at the helm and in control of the team, I doubt their validity and I doubt their ability to fuck us over, especially coming off of this loss. I think the Hawks are a little bit embarrassed because they caught us with our pants down a little bit, which I never understood that 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 line caught you with your pants down. What the fuck are we talking about? But that's not a hint of there. Uh, long story short, we'll be fine against Philly. I'm not concerned in the slightest. So I'll see y'all tonight to talk about how we beat Philly. And then maybe I can get some fucking Sonic Frontiers in because there's only one game tonight. The Nets don't play till Saturday. So maybe I can actually get some other shit in other than fucking basketball for a change after work. But that's not a hint of there. I'll see you motherfuckers later tonight. You're on Hoodie Fish. I'm Sever the Bond.